Hello everybody, it's Theresa here. Um, I apologize for the wonky angle. Um, we're going to try to unmold my candy, candied citrus soap. Um, this is the first time I did a soap in a Pringles can. So I'll be interested to see how well it does. And these are just some sandwich bags. I don't know if you have those in other countries, but in the U.S., if you're a child, or if you were ever a child, and you had lunch, you've seen a sandwich bag. Now, I'm not really sure what the best way to go about unloading this is. I hope you can see. So, I'm just going to start at the bottom. <laughs> When in doubt, start at the bottom. I am starting at the bottom because there is a lid at the bottom. Um, when you're preparing your Pringles can, if you cut the the actual bottom of the can off, I hope you can see, um, then you cut the actual bottom of the can off and use that as your top, then you can use the lid of the Pringles can. Uh, I can see I have some leakage here. Uh, you can use the lid portion as the bottom. So, hoping, still hoping you can see. Uh, just popping these off. Now, I just I chose to um, leave the top of my paper long, cut it into small slivers, and tape it down individually. I'm not sure how everyone else does that. So let's see here, I'm going to remove the lid from the bottom of the can. It left a little bit of a divot, but that is to be expected, I would think. And let's see, <laughs> um, all right. Uh, It is not wanting to come out. So what I'm doing is I'm holding it close to my body and pushing on the bottom. Trying to give it a little start here at the top. Oh. Okay, now cutting the paper does not seem like this such a good good idea now since they are all ripping off Oy vey. okay so uh, I'm dividing the bottom of my soap here with my finger trying to get it out of this gosh darn mode all right, there we go. Out it comes. And I don't know if you can see there, but inside there, there is soap halfway up the can, so it obviously leaked, which uh, I guess is to be expected. And I did a little damage to the bottom. This was rather perfect when I took it out. But I did a little damage to the bottom, getting it out of its mode. Um, but I guess again that might be to be expected alright I'm gonna have to let me pause a second and I'm going to uh, clean up this mess I'll be right back okay um, I didn't touch the soap at all I just cleaned up the mess so here we go we're gonna unroll the soap and look at that alright so I can already tell that the top is really messed up and I really don't know why that is I don't know why um, it did that uh, it was all taped down so this is not a, it looks perfect on this side but it is not perfect on this side so oh well you live and you learn 
and it no matter what it will still be soap so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut this and I don't really know um, how big to cut them or anything like that so it will just be um, an experiment uh, and obviously I've never cut, well not obviously, but I've never cut round soap before, so this could be interesting. What I don't understand, I'm looking at the soap, and this is the bottom of the soap, and this is the top. So, um, I'm guessing, I really don't know why it did that. I don't, I don't know. Oh well. So, we're just going to cut into it and see what happens. Here we go. Oh, well. <laughs> um, yeah. Not exactly what I had hoped for. But it is pretty. Not exactly what I thought I would get. <laughs> but, oh well. It smells wonderful. And this is this uh, scent. I don't have a scent description down here, but the scent is uh, pineapple grapefruit. Oh, looky there. So you got white on this side and this side. Actually, to be honest with you, I got this, um, this idea from a photograph I seen on a color inspiration board. Um, Pinterest and it had these sugared candies um, that were in uh, little round rolled up rows and had white swirled through they were brightly colored in greens and oranges and yellows and they had white swirled through so this actually looks a lot like my inspiration uh, photograph so I'm very very happy and look at the green oh it's so nice it's really soft still inside so I, I have to be careful <clears throat> but I'm really pleased if you haven't watched the making video it will be linked to this video so you can go back and watch that if you wish um, but all I did was alternate pouring the colors. I put a uh, uh, not a toilet paper roll, uh, paper towel roll in the center of the can, and I alternated pouring my colors, which were pink, green, yellow, and orange, uh, one at a time, down into the the outside of the mold, and poured solid white into the middle. And then once I removed the paper towel row, I took a skewer, ran it straight down the center, and did a swirl around. So that's how I got what you see here. Oops, come on. Oh, there's a pink and orange one. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, they look so pretty. They really are. They really are pretty fantastic. They really are. Now we're getting down to the part that was misshapen. So, it's going to be a little less fantastic, but it'll work. It's still going to be soap. And it is handmade soap, so. Oh, this one. <laughs> this slice here. I can see yellow, I can see pink, green, and white all in there. I think there may even be some orange in there. Oh, that one's great. That one's pretty fantastic. I like the yellow. Now, I had said in the making video that when I cut into this, the yellow was not going to be yellow. Because I had, I had used that yellow color, and I've used it a lot, but I used it in another one, another soap. <clears throat> that I needed to be all yellow when I cut it. It was tan. But, uh... That doesn't seem to be the case with this one. 
let's see. Oh, now there we're getting into the crinkliness, but look at the swirls there. Now imagine this is the part where I started plopping it in at the end, and it was after I pulled out the um, the um, paper towel row. So that's why you're getting, uh, or we're seeing more variations on the colors because it was all dropped down in there, not poured individually. So there is something on the soap. Oh, well, I'll get that off in just a minute. I'm going to have to actually turn this a little bit so that I can hold it a little better. It was just in one of those weird divots, so it didn't quite, uh, let me get whatever this is off of this soap. It's like a speck and it's aggravating me. I think it's just actually a glitter of some sort, but you can see the messed up edge. But it looked fantastic on the inside. Now the, these in, these pieces, the end, do not look like I had intended any of it to look. So, I was getting ready to say, so the ends will be mine. But in all honesty, they're all going to be mine because I do not sell my soaps. So. My hand's probably in your way, but I'm trying to hold this soap relatively still. That is beautiful. I don't know if it's going to let you see, but I will attach pictures of all the different pieces. I actually kind of like the rippled pieces. <laughs> I don't, it's, it's not round, but I mean, that kind of looks like, I don't know if it'll focus. It kind of looks like a flower, in my humble opinion. All right, so that's our cutting. We've, we've cut all of our pieces. And let's set that to the side. And we'll take a look at some of the pieces. There's a yellow one. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Let me just get it back just in case. Uh, I will, like I said, I will attach. Now this one uh, kind of reminds me like a swan of some sort, a bird of some sort. And um, well, this is our green one, but it's a little messed up on the end. I might actually cut that off. Um, and then here is a yellow and green one and an orange one <clears throat> a multicolored one and then just for giggles one of our end pieces that are is pretty messed up so there you have it a pringles can soup this one happens to be i think my favorite even though it's a little wonky on the edge it's pretty. I like the little bird pattern. Uh, but um, I don't know. I would have to be more careful with my lining, I guess, to avoid this wonkiness. Um, and I don't think that I would ever do the uh, add the paper towel roll in. It was too messy, and I. Um, I lost a lot of soap. I actually ended up making this out of the soap that was left in that tube. So, and then this was the soap I had left out of the, I made a 28 ounce batch of soap at a, it's got a little speck on the bottom that does not belong there, uh, with a, at a 33% water to lie. So, uh, and I had, Probably, I think that's like five ounces left 
of soap so um anyway um so yeah this is my uh candied citrus it smells fantastic oh, it's so clean and crisp and fresh and yummy it's delicious so anyway uh thank you for watching happy soaping bye bye <laughs>